everyone, I hope you're all well. Today I have a very exciting video for you. I'll be sharing how I managed to transform my tiny little closet room into a shoe storage closet. <laughs> so if you're interested, keep watching. I keep getting many requests from you guys to film more videos at home, what I do, my daily life, and because we're still in lockdown, this has been my uh, tiny little project for a while now, and I think it's finally complete. I'm finally happy. Well, almost happy with it but I'll explain later but yeah the project is complete I finally have a shoe storage room so if you're interested and want to see my current collection as well as how I organize my shoes keep watching and also don't forget to come follow me on my Instagram which is this one here where you can see my daily looks how I like to style my new purchases I also give you some outfit inspo on my stories as well so if you're interested come check out my Instagram I'd love to see you there as well Okay, let's get started. Before we start, I would like to apologize for the lighting in this video. I know it won't be great, but I have a tiny space here. I'm in my hallway and the space here is quite tiny and dark. So I have two big lights. Hopefully you'll be able to see everything better. Let me reveal my shoe closet finally. So this is the small space that I had to work with. Um, let me turn the light on. Um, et voila, so this is my shoe closet. <laughs> yes, I know, it's quite tiny. I can fit in here. I will show you everything in more detail in a bit. I'll take you in with me and show you everything in my shoe collection and how I organize everything. But before we do that, I wanted to explain how I transformed this and how it used to look before. I had no idea what to do with this space. It was always very messy. It's a tiny little storage room, so I used to keep my suitcases here and just random stuff. I used to chuck everything in here and it was one big mess. I could never find anything. I will try to find some old pictures if I can. I definitely have some on my phone, but I'm not sure if I'd be able to find those. But this space, after I cleared it, I decided to store my coat in here and some shoes as well. So I bought a very cheap rail from Wilco and I put all my long coats because my closet wardrobe room wasn't ready yet. I was waiting for my wardrobes and I didn't have any space to store the long coats. I also had uh, one of these um, very cheap, I remember I bought it from eBay, over the door um, shoe um, rails again so I used to hang all my shoes on this door that's why it's a bit scratched here um, but yeah some of the shoes were hanging on the door I had some more here on the side and a rail with <laughs> coats I must say this was very impractical it was very hard to reach all my coats with the big rail and the shoes it was hard to find things so I decided that I needed to change this space and for the longest time I didn't know what to do and then I saw someone used these Billy um, book bookcases from Ikea to store shoes and I thought that would be a great idea so I ended up ordering two Billy bookcases this one is the 80 centimeter bookcase and the one that you see here actually you can't see this one very well but you'll see it in a bit and the one here is the 40 centimeter one I believe so I managed to fit both of these in here I also ordered additional shelving. Let me grab one shelf to show you. So these are the shelves. I have quite a few of these. I placed another order because I needed additional shelves. So what I love about these is first, they're super cheap. The bookcases were very cheap as well. And the additional shelves, I believe, are four pounds each. This is the shorter one and I think the longer ones are about six pounds if I'm not wrong. I also love that you can move these around so you can place them depending on how tall your shoes are or handbags depending on what you're storing. So that's another reason I love love these. They're very easy to move around, <laughs> remove and put back and also the bookshelves are very easy to assemble. Guys if I can do it you can do it and I didn't even have a drill I did it by hand with a screwdriver so yeah super easy to assemble before I take you in to show you my shoes this space actually used to look different a couple of months ago so this used to be my shoe storage room plus 
here I used to keep my handbags as well. I definitely have some clips so I will insert them here so you can see. So I used to keep all my shoes on the longer shelves. The longer shelves fit all my shoes and on the smaller 40 centimeter bookcase I used to keep all my handbags and they used to fit fine as well. I think only two or three bags didn't fit in here so I had to keep them elsewhere but everything else used to fit perfectly. But now I keep buying new handbags and shoes and I needed more space and I decided to put all my shoes in here and make this into a shoe closet room. So <laughs> let me take you in and show you how I organize my shoes. <laughs> okay, you're still on the tripod. I'm just trying to show you up here on the top. I was planning to buy um, some... Um, extensions so these uh, billy bookcases uh, they sell separate extensions so if i ever need more space for shoes i can always do that um, but for now i'm keeping some of my can you guys see i'm keeping some of my uh, fedora hats and um, some boxes so yeah let me take you in and show you everything now welcome to wonderland <laughs> so this is my shoe closet <laughs> so here on this side here is the switch for the lights and here I put one of my favorite Louis Vuitton um, drawings this was from an event they drew me <laughs> this was a very fun Louis Vuitton event so I'll make sure I link it in this corner I think if you would like to check it out and yeah this is me wearing all Louis Vuitton with the hoops and the Louis Vuitton belt and dress from that collection. This is the smaller shelf as you can see and these are the longer shelves. Where should I start from? Let me start from the top okay. So I'm keeping some fedora hats here. Very old I don't really wear them at all anymore so I think I might get rid of all these fedora hats. Let me start from down here now. Okay, so here we have my Louis Vuitton luggage. This is the Horizon 55. And down there, I have a pair of very old boots from Zara. On this shelf, I keep my gym bag, the Chanel gym or travel bag. I use this for traveling as well. And one of my newest pairs of Chanel boots. These ones are the burgundy pair that I bought from the sale. Moving on, here I have some more ankle boots. This pair here are probably my highest heel boots. I don't really wear uh, high heels, so I think these are my only ones. And these are very blingy, they're from Zara. I wore these to an event a while ago and they're very comfortable, so I keep them just in case I need uh, high heel boots. And then I have sock boots from Zara. I'm planning to get rid of these and buy the Hermes sock boots next winter. Then we have another pair from Zara. These I used to wear to work. Then I have another pair of boots. These are from the Coupos. Again, I used to wear these for work a lot. Okay, so moving on. Hopefully you can see because it's getting quite tight in here and dark. Um, so hopefully you'd be able to see. These are my Chanel boots. I love these because they're grey and they have the Chanel logo here on this boot and then the other one. And this is the other one, Gabrielle Chanel Coco. I love these. However, I think they're size 38. Yep, so they are a bit small because I think I need 38 and a half now. I might end up selling these next year, but I do love them a lot and they're my only pair of grey boots, so I'll keep them for now. And then my most worn boots this year are these awesome Chanel boots that were super popular. Next to them, another very worn pair of boots. I wear these all the time when the weather conditions, again, are really bad, when it's raining a lot and I don't want to wear my nice designer shoes, I wear these Zara ones. My Louis Vuitton boots that I haven't worn as much this year, but I still love them. They're very classic. They have this buckle, which is removable. Moving on here, I have some space. 
as you can see for new shoes by the way guys i had a clear out recently so if you don't see some shoes that i unboxed before that's the reason i sold them i sell them on instagram i sold quite a few pairs of chanel and dior sneakers and some jewelry accessories sunglasses i sometimes sell bags it's just easier for me to sell on instagram stories um rather than listing on ebay so yeah <laughs> let's move on these are from andada stories they're quite old now but i love the pom-poms so i still keep them for summer and then i have my louis vuitton slippers it's too hot for them now so i don't wear them but i have worn them quite a lot this winter and they're so warm and luxe and i love 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 them i definitely want to buy another pair of louis vuitton slippers maybe for next winter then on this shelf as you can see now from here up to the top you can see my heels i don't have that many uh high heel shoes so these are no these are the highest heel shoes i have these two pairs but let me show you this row first so these chanel ones are still brand new do you guys remember how excited i was for these before i was dying to get them they were quite pricey um i think these are probably one of my most expensive shoes i own so yeah these are the chanel sandals hopefully i would wear them this summer i'll definitely try um but yeah let's move on with these mimi ones i bought from mr village i love them they're very comfy um they're quite smart i love the block heel they are actually quite similar to the chanel ones can you guys see because they have these stars um, but these are closed so yeah different <laughs> so I, I love both of them my old Valentino shoes that I love so so much I had to completely repair these they were destroyed I don't know if you guys remember I think I showed them in a vlog they were completely ruined um, they're very delicate shoes so they had to rebuild this front bit here because it was completely destroyed um, they also fixed, kind of fixed the heel and then these ones, I love these, they're from Zara, they were very cheap but they're quite comfy, the heel is not too high. I love wearing these with my Chanel bags because they look like a Chanel bag, don't they? So the next row, my OCD is starting to kick in because these shoes shouldn't be here. <laughs> these are my highest heels. I have these beautiful Aquazura shoes, by the way. Aquazura high heel shoes are the most comfortable heels ever. Honestly, I can last all day in these. They're the best and yeah, I love, love these. I need to buy another pair of um, high heels from Aquazura because I love them. Next we have the Carrie Bradshaw famous Manolo Blahniks. These I still haven't worn. With the current situation I had nowhere to go, no events. I bought them last year but yeah I didn't have um, the opportunity. Um, I didn't have any events, nowhere to go. So yeah still brand new but I can't wait to wear them. And these shouldn't be here. These are old Zara. Again I used to wear them for work because they're quite smart and um, yeah, they look great with trousers so as you can see i have a mixture of high street and luxury shoes on this row i think everything is high street but i do keep them just in case i need a pair of shoes that i wouldn't care about um yeah in case the weather's bad or I don't know <laughs> until I replace them with designer shoes. <laughs> I used to have a black pair of these as well, but um, I think they were too small, so I got rid of them. And I have some umbrellas here, <laughs> very random. And here, the last um, shelf here, I have again some random shoes. I actually need to get rid of all these, which means I have another shelf to fill with new shoes. Awesome. Okay, so this was the longer shelf let's move on to the smaller shelf i'll start from the top this time here i have my favorite mimi little shoes with the bow i love these shoes so much i think i unboxed them for my birthday last year and also i have my dior jadio shoes up there 
Going down, we have some Chanel. <laughs> these are probably one of my most recent shoes, I would say. I unboxed these recently. I love them. Super excited to wear them this summer. And these are my favorite unicorn shoes. I will give these another go. Last year I wore them once and they killed my feet. So I ended up buying these silicone things and some plasters. So I'm gonna give them another go this year, see how I find them. I don't know if I got the wrong size or what, but they, <laughs> they were very uncomfortable. So I'll give them another go. Then on the shelf below, we have some Hermes sandals. These are my favorite ones. These are so easy to style. They look great with everything and they're very comfy because they're soft. They're um, the suede fabric. So if you find Hermes sandals in suede, just grab them because they're the most comfortable ones. And yeah, they're in a size 38 and a half. I always go half size up in orange sandals. And then here next to them, these are my newest ones. These are the beautiful rose gold. They look more gold on camera, but actually they're quite rosy. I'm not sure why on camera they show quite gold. Here I have a pair of Fendi sandals. Yeah, the color now is showing better. I love these. I bought them from Bista Village. They were super discounted. So these are a big score from Bista Village and they're very comfortable. So I love, love these shoes. They also look great with my Lady Dior. Um, here I have a cheap pair of um, just everyday shoes. Um, I definitely want to buy um, orange sandals in this red color but for now I keep these uh, whenever I want to run to the store in the summer uh, when it's hot. Yeah just very plain very cheap pair of slides. Down here we have oh I love these I haven't worn them I bought them last year they're from Zara uh, but I love the knot detail I think it's really cute and these match my yellow um, lemony Chanel bag and we have a pair of ballerinas I sold quite a few pairs of Chanel ballerinas I had more so yeah these are the grey ones I keep these because they kind of go with my coco handle they're not the exact same color but they're quite similar I have re -saw, I had to re -saw them because I wore them in the rain once and I kind of <laughs> messed up the sole so these are one of the ballerinas and this is my other pair of Chanel ballerinas as I mentioned I had quite a few other ones but I ended up selling them these again I got to match with my um, yellow Chanel classic flap I haven't worn them but look how pretty yes yeah, so these again can't wait to wear now when the stores reopen the weather will be perfect so super excited i'm definitely wearing these out next week by the way next week everything is reopening so yay <laughs> these orange sandals i think i'm gonna repurchase these i'm gonna sell these because they're a bit small i think i got these in size yeah 38 oh my god they're disgusting i need to wash my hands asap but because they're in size 38 they are quite small and during the summer when it's really hot my feet swell up so i definitely prefer to go half size up in orange sandals or my orange sandals are 38 and a half so i think i'm gonna um, repurchase these ones in a um, larger size I just need half size up um, and down here again I sold I think two or three pairs three pairs of um, Chanel espadrilles so these are my only espadrilles that I currently have and I definitely want to get more as you can tell I love tweeds um, these were from a cruise collection I love these because they go with everything I love the gold and black and also, I love um, Chanel espadrilles that have matching CC logo. So it's not like very contrasting. It's not too in your face. So I love that this is black and the shoes are quite dark. So it's not very obvious and contrasting in this as well. Um, it's a blue tweed with beautiful blue. Let me come out again so you can see how pretty these are. Can you guys see? Look how gorgeous. I love Chanel tweed. Then down here, see I have to move <laughs> these shoes next to the 
Prada. These are my newest Prada shoes. Are they the newest ones? I think these are the last pair of shoes I bought, yes. And I love these ones. So comfy. I haven't stopped wearing these. They're perfect for the transitional period. I mentioned that when I unboxed them. I will link that video. I unboxed a Prada handbag together with these. So if you've missed it, I'll make sure I link it in this corner. In this corner up here. <laughs> and here I have my... <laughs> Do you guys remember these? I still have them. Uh, my Donald Duck Gucci meals. Okay, here are all my sneakers. These are the Dior B27. Very hard to get sold out. These are from the men's um, range, but they have um, women's sizes as well. I think they start from size 4, if I'm not mistaken. They were sold out for the longest time. I can't believe I found them super happy can't wait to wear them still brand new but um yeah that will change very soon i can't wait to wear these and then these i have worn so much already these are my looped on sneakers i am definitely buying another pair of these when i go to bista village i got these from bista village and they were discounted so i'm so lucky that i found this beautiful gold because they go with everything and they're very very comfy all right down here well, these are very dirty, but <laughs> these are probably my most worn sneakers, the Louis Vuitton ones. These now, as you can see, they're getting a bit old. Uh, maybe if I clean them, they'll look better, but um, you can see the wear here. But still, they look quite good, even on the inside. Can you guys see? Still quite good. These are the next ones, my favorite Fendi. I love these because they're very classic pair of sneaker they look very smart i would say i think they still make these by the way but now they have them with the darker zuka print so if i find them i'll make sure i link them down here i have a cheap pair from zara these are fluffy can you guys see they're four shilling um they're very fun so i just keep them here next to the velvet jadios because they're pink i don't find these very comfy they're very narrow so they don't really work very well for me i don't wear these as much as i would love to because they were very expensive so i wish i've worn them more but um yeah i don't find them very comfy so look at the detailing though i love the laces they're so so beautiful very beautiful pair of shoes down here i have uh, my adidas um these were collaboration but i can't remember what collaboration um i love the colorway i love the uh, yellow laces because they go with my yellow flap and i love that they are neutral color i wear these when i go for walks and then here i have my chanel trainers oops see you guys i love tweeds i love chanel tweed um, and i do have quite a few pairs with tweed detailing i love the color of these they go with everything they're so beautiful they're from I think I bought them two years ago from the Fall Winter collection. I think, yeah, they were from Karl Lagerfeld's last collection. So Fall Winter 2019. And last down here, I have my gym shoes and <laughs> these Nike ones. I'm not gonna bore you with these and these neon um, orange ones. I have a random pair of white boots. They were very cheap, but I needed them for a um, I was shooting some looks in London and I needed a pair of white boots when they were very trendy a couple of years ago. Um, and then I have some slippers. These are from H&M. Okay, so this is the current shoe situation. I'm still not 100% happy with it, but um, last week actually when I ordered the additional shelving, so I moved things around and I like it a bit better now because everything is a bit more color coordinated. The way I organized things now makes a bit more sense uh, with all my summer shoes and trainers here and the rest here because before that it was a bit mixed. So yeah, everything looks a bit prettier because they're kind of color coordinated. And and um, yeah, I love it more now. I'm still not 100% happy with it, but I'm getting there now that everything's reopening. I'll definitely buy some new pairs of shoes and maybe fill in the blank spaces. I also need to get rid of some older shoes. As I mentioned, I did sell quite a few designer shoes on my Instagram that I weren't using. I sold some Gucci shoes, Dior shoes and Dior sneakers that I wasn't wearing that didn't fit with my wardrobe and my style. Quite a few pairs of Chanel 
nail shoes as well. I have filmed a whole designer shoe collection video. I think I filmed it beginning of last year. So if you're interested and want to see how all these designer shoes look on, um, definitely check that video out. I'll make sure I link it up here. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too boring. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.